Let's look at one of the regular occurrences around my makeshift goal line here. We see the attack trying to get the ball over line, whether that's for a pick and drive or maybe from a, a driving ball, and the defence trying to get underneath the ball, trying to prevent them getting the ball down. And what happens often, isn't it, is by the time they get there, they fall over the try line, the defence are trying to get underneath, the referee arrives and can't decide for certain whether a try's been scored. So they go up to the video referee, the TMO, and ask a question. Now there's two questions the referee can ask. The first one is, my on-field decision is a try. So what the referee's saying there is, he's, he or she's either seen the ball grounded, or they're pretty certain, you know, they're 99% sure that ball's got down, but they just want to check. And then the TMO has to say, no, you've got it wrong, it's clearly been held up or there's been a knock-on beforehand. Anything but conclusive proof isn't good enough. Tries awarded. If the referee hasn't seen the ground in the ball or is not sure either way, you'll hear the referee ask the second question. And that question is, on-field decision is no try, so you need to tell me if a try's been scored. So then the TMO has to decide for certain that that ball got grounded on the line. They can't see it because of a camera angle or maybe a defender's in the way, they can't award the try. So, so important that the question is listened to and then the question is answered correctly.